Hey guys, I'm William and welcome to Yak TV. Tonight we're here at Bar on the Hill in the lead up to NAIDOC week, which celebrates the history and cultural achievements of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders people. And tonight we've got the hip hop trio, The Last Connection. Hey guys, how's it going? Excellent. Good to <laughs> Well, um, firstly, would you like to tell us how did you develop the name The Last Connection? What's the story behind that? The story behind that, I think JT still has the pieces of paper because we had all these ideas and we wrote down all these names that... Black and Decker was his. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I Black and Decker or something. <laughs> there was heaps and that's not the worst. <laughs> but yeah, we ended up doing The Last Connection, spelled with the K-N because we're brother and sister. And it was about um, our grandma was, when she was alive, she was the last elder of our clan. Oh, okay. And so um, she ended up passing away just when we released the first album. So we named it after her, Nuchus. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's what it's uh, basically like, last connection is in kin. Yeah. Memory, yeah. Connection. Yeah. yeah. We kind of didn't want it to be a group of just, like about us and look how good we are or whatever. You know, we wanted it to be more about how important it is the emergency of one day you're going to be the eldest. What do you know to pass on kind of thing? Yeah, right, wow, that's incredible. Um, it's a pretty exciting time for you guys, Nadoc Week uh, coming up. Do you have any plans for celebrating? Uh, yeah, we, gigs. <laughs> gigs, yeah. And gigs and gigs and gigs, yeah. It's cool, it's really good to um, get that many gigs all at once. <laughs> we're, like, we're trying to fit everything all in, you know, and it's, it's every good being every that night busy. of the week, we're yeah. doing a gig. From we start um, Canberra. Yeah, no, no, Sydney. I do the oh, radio Sydney, show yeah. thing. So Sydney, Canberra, Caratha, Perth, Brisbane, Gympie, Bundaberg. Bundaberg. Yeah, yeah. Bundaberg. <laughs> yeah, right. It's just just gig. Get on a plane, yeah. fly yeah. over, then get ready for the next one, then fly oh, down. Okay. Oh, that sounds great. You also devote all of your time to workshops. Um, do you want to tell us a bit about them? Yeah, so we were just in Palm Island. We just did a whole bunch of workshops up there. And, and I guess the, the background for that is that we, we were lucky, me and the Amy, our mum and dad are like, we're like fifth generation musos on both sides of the family. So we had a lot of music We had no way us. out. Yeah, we, we, didn't, we didn't really have a choice. But, but you know, but that music's what kept us out of trouble really or well, kept yeah. me out of trouble and so so actually being able to, to pass those skills or you know what we've learned from music a lot mm -hmm. to other kids that don't get that opportunity that don't yeah. don't have a family that actually are music orientated is, is really important for us especially if we want to have you know a good uh, I guess you know bunch of young fellas out there that are going to yeah. Take, take over, over from yeah. us, you know. It's like, we're just training them, but we're sitting, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we pretty much do what we would have wanted. Yeah. You know, like something, and we do it in three days, and it's every. I get surprised every time that these kids will write songs, record them, and do film clips for them, and then perform for the whole community in three days. Every time we start, I'll think, oh, <laughs> I don't know whether we're going to get through, but we always do. And these are kids that are too scared to even get up. Some of them can't even read, you know. It's yeah, like, right. you know, and, and standing up in front of people and doing things is just, you know, they've never even thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we get them, like, in front of the community shooting a film clip and they're like, oh, yeah. just do it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, cool. Well, on that note, you've had a pretty pretty incredible journey as the last connection. You know, you've made some pretty cool friends along the way. Earth Boy, um, Flavor Flav and Chuck D. From <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to achieve in your, your career as the last connection? Heaps. Heaps, yeah. yeah. There's always... It's, it's freaky because, like, you've set these goals that are just way too high, mm -hmm. and when you reach them, you go, bam! <laughs> well, <laughs> we better set some more. Yeah. yeah, and it's um, it's it's good and it's exciting and it's and it's good to be able to tell the kids at the workshops too yeah. that no dream is too high. You know, yeah. like if we can do it, man, anyone can. And you know, like we're doing this all on our own. We're not do we don't have a major label or anything like that. We really wanna. We, we signed with um, just with a distro deal with with Elephant Tracks, who go through inertia for their distribution really to, to really try and target the, the wider population yep. um, because you know we've got a good a good foundation with, with the, the Koori 
you know, Maori population, but we really want to get that message out there to, to, to the whole of the country. And so, yeah. and so that's our, our next aim is... And it is hard. Like, when yeah. we first started, we were all agreed we're probably not going to get played on radio because <laughs> we want to talk about things that no one wants to talk about, but we have to. Okay. Well, if there is any one piece of advice you could give to any young striving user out there trying to achieve their goal in the industry, what would that piece of advice be? It's the sky is the limit, and mm -hmm. you've just if you love it and yeah. you you want it that bad, you will, you will get. There's no reason why you won't if you work hard at it. You know, some a lot of people forget they want the limos and and all that straight away, but you got to work for it, yeah, and definitely. you won't even appreciate it if you don't work for it anyway. So. All right, guys. Well, thanks for talking to Yak TV. Um, really enjoyed today. Um, good luck with the show tonight. We're looking forward to it, and um, all the best in the future. Cool. Thank you so much.